Hey guys, Donish back for yet another tutorial. Why another one? There's just so many socks to cover. Today I'm going to cover the ankle socks. This one's called the Athletic Ankle Socks with a black cotton underbase, and this one's called the Streetwear Ankle Socks, which is our full poly sock or 95% poly. So, you ready to cover these and get into a sublimation demo? I am. Let's do it. Alright, I'm about to send these Planet Orange Galaxy transfer prints through. We've got the front file and the back file here. Send it to our printer number three. Print and go. I feel like I'm the most fierce competitor there is. I don't think I'm ever going to find something to equal the game of basketball for me. They talk about guys being competitors. He was the fiercest of all the competitors. I know Jesus worked seven days a week or six days. He rested on Sunday, didn't he? But Michael Jordan played on Sunday. An assassin personified that had that killer instinct. So the first one I'm going to start with is the athletic sock. So what I love about this sock is it's got the cotton interior, extra cushion for athletes. That's why we call it our athletic ankle sock. So it's made up of the same style as our athletic crew sock, same material, except now you can sublimate all the white area you see, including this part on top of the foot. So I'm going to need four things to sublimate these. My blank socks, number one. My inserts, these are the same inserts as our streetwear socks, so I'm going to load those and show you how that works my sublimation transfer paper and our awesome 16 by 20 heat press. So let's go ahead and load these guys up. I'm going to do a front and back load here. So that means the sock is facing front to back and it gets loaded on our jig like so. Notice this jig has been used many times. Um, I usually use a brand new one for the demo, but today I'm going with a used one. I guess that's a good thing so you can see how we were using these things. So what I want to do is load it up to where I have the little bit of black showing outward and then uh, on, the, on the foot area. And then basically the sublimation will connect that on when I do the front side. So that's what the front looks like loaded. And this is what the back looks like loaded. I've got my heel tucked in so I can kind of sub right over that. Um, and then notice the back area is much smaller than the front area. So I'm going to show you uh, the difference between those. Let me go ahead and load my second one real quick. Alright, so I've got my second pair loaded. So the print areas on these, we're going to sublimate the front at the same time. The print area for the front is going to be 10 inches wide by 9 inches tall. The back is going to be a 10 by 5. And now that does include bleed area also. So notice like this is not actually a full 5 inch. The 5 will be including the bleed. And same thing with the width, it includes bleed area. Alright, so next thing I'm going to do is load it onto the heat press. I'm going to load the fronts at the same time. So I've got what we call front front laid next to each other. And I've got this pretty cool orange galaxy transfer looking thing going on here. So that is going to, let's see, it's going to go like this and cover the entire sock. So actually it's only going to need to cover the white areas because the black, it could bleed onto the black a little bit, but the black is not going to get the design um, appearing onto it, meaning the sub won't show up on the black, it'll only show up on the white. I just want to make sure I'm covered on all four sides, top, bottom, left, and right. Design is nice and 
transfer sheet should be nice and flat so I can put my heat press over it and send her through. Check my time. I've got it at 400 degrees and 30 seconds. That's good for me. And we'll see how the first test comes out. So you guys remember Galaxy socks when sublimated socks first started? These were like the hottest things out. Everybody wanted Galaxy socks. Especially in that era of like Nike Elite custom socks. That was crazy like five, six years ago. I still like them. Smoking. Alright. Let's see her. Bam. That's looking fire. Sheesh. Look at the orange on that thing. Crazy. Crazy vibrant. That's the silky way. It's so vibrant with the colors. I do see a little bit of fade right there near the near the the cushion area of the foot. That's probably because this part is padded with that, that athletic cushioning. So you could increase it a few seconds to try to darken that up. Anyway, I'm good with it. I'm gonna do the flip switch and roll. The same way we do our athletic uh, crew socks. And now your roll area is much smaller, just that top area. Same thing on this sock. And that sound was our air compressor going off for these air operated machines. Alright. Bam. So backside 10 by 5. Small, real small transfer. And notice guys, no tape, no spray, no glue. Just keeping it simple. what I call eliminating the negative steps, right? If you were playing ball, straight to the basket. You don't need to do a 360 unless you're beating your defender that way. Damn. All right. So, same thing, 400 degrees, 30 seconds. Let's see how it comes out. nice. I do see a little nick right there of white. That's probably because uh, it was tucked in a little so you just want to straighten that out so you get a full clean print like that one. Very nice. Alright. And then what I like to do is give it a couple seconds to let it cool before I unload. So instead of rushing it I'm just going to chill right now. Alright. Now it's ready to unload. Nice and smooth, easy, bam. One, two, and there's your final result. Oof, I know you wanna wear that right through this camera. That's nice. All right, so we'll try these on later. So that's the athletic ankle sub fully sublimated, all right? So big front coverage area, small back coverage area the black underfoot. Another way, I'm going to show you one more way to make these. So if you take our streetwear inserts and you cut them out in these small shapes like this, about five inches tall, what you could do is you can simply load the sock like this and then you can put a logo on this side and a logo on this side. So we call that side side. So if you want to do a simple side side with a white, and keep a white background on these ankle guys, then just load it like that, like I just showed you, and place a logo here and here. And this coverage area is four inches wide by about three inches tall. So a very small coverage area, an easy way to make some custom logo ankle socks. All right? And that's your streetwear insert cut down a little bit. All right, so the next one is the streetwear. I'm going to put this MJ, we call this the Tribute to Jordan Sock design on it. The greatest player of all time. My favorite growing up, Michael Jordan. You ready? Alright. So, first thing I'm going to do is load this onto our streetwear 
jigs. So these streetwear jigs, you see I'm getting multiple use out of them. We used them for our athletic ankle cut down and now I'm going to use them for this uh, streetwear ankle sock as well. So I'm loading it up to the same area here. As you can see, we used these before. And a little tip, uh, these socks do have a heel on them. What you want to do is kind of stretch it out, uh, stretch out the heel a bit by just either loading higher on the sock or you can kind of stretch out the heel just by playing around with it and stretching the fabric out. Cool. So once that heel is nice and flat, or at least fairly flat where it'll get pressed flat, you're good to go. Guys, before I forget, we just created a new Facebook group called Silky Sock Sublimators. If you join the group, we do content regularly. We're all helping each other out. We're posting our creations on socks, answering questions, um, pretty much engaging with you all every single day. So you definitely want to check that out. I'll link it in this video description. Silky Sock Sublimators Facebook group. We'll see you there. Alright, so I've got both socks loaded. As you can see. Um, can you pass me that ruler real quick? Thank you, sir. So, just wanted to show you how many inches that is. Um, so I know everyone's got different heat press sizes out there. So it's about 12 plus 2. So it's about a 14 inch once loaded. So if you have a 15 by 15 press, you can still sublimate the entire thing with these ankle socks. If you have a 16 by 20, you can definitely do the entire thing. Hey Danny. What's up? As someone on the phone, um, he wants to know if we have the capacity to print up to, um, I think he said a thousand to fifteen thousand. Okay. Tell him Danny's shooting a video, and then you'll take his, take down his name, number, and then he, he'll return your call later. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> Alright, what am I doing? <laughs> Alright, so I just flipped this guy over, we're going to use the same sheet of paper, and this is ready to press. One, uh, one extra step I'll use on these white socks is lint rolling. And you do this if you're using a light colored uh, garment with a light design background. So since this has some white in the background, I'm going to go ahead and lint roll this a little bit. So all I'm going to do is give it a quick one, two. All right, the Windy City, MJ, Chicago, we're ready, let's go. <clears throat> so, just wanted to cover the entire sock, top, bottom, and in this case, center the transfers, like if you have certain logos that you need to center, you need to check for that. But with this pattern, it's pretty much simple. I'm gonna use the same, uh, same time and temperature setting. Again, we're using 400 degrees and only 30 seconds. Uh, we had Co Angelo from Cosmos Ink here in our last video, and with his ink, we were actually using 55 seconds, and that was coming out good. So, uh, with our ink, we've always used about 30 to 35 seconds. So it just kind of depends. Test it out on your end and see what mix works for you. All right. Alright, 30 seconds are up. Let's see how it came out. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm back. Oof. Because remember when Jordan came back as number 45? I was so happy when he came back because when he left, it was just, I was what, seven years old in 1993? I was a sad seven year old. But when he came back, I was like, yes, it's on again. All right, so flip, switch, and roll. So now I'm gonna roll up the entire thing up the sides to eliminate that white line. So yeah, I definitely take inspiration from Jordan, just his sheer work ethic, his uh, 
his hunger and his will to win, like those things, I know he's not a perfect human, you know, nobody is perfect, but just taking those things, that competitive drive, definitely, definitely helped me, like, and still helps me just remembering that fierce competitive nature. There's a funny story, like, uh, and I was telling one of my friends this uh, in our last basketball tournament. So, Jordan was so competitive that he would hang out with guys like Charles Barkley, Patrick Ewing, even during the playoffs and take them out to dinner the night before the game or whatever and pretend he was like hanging out with them to be their friend but when the, he was really just when the game would start he just wanted to kill them like so it was just a tactic he would kind of soften them up be their buddy buddy with them but when it was game on he was just killing them all right so backside look at the heels they have a little fluff to them but those are going to flatten right out in the press And here's my back side of the transfer. Send it through. I love using these red heat presses. You're probably kind of familiar with them now if you've seen some of our videos, but man, like push and relax, not, not so much manual labor. So if you can invest in an air operated automatic um, heat press, I highly recommend it. And if not, don't worry. We started off with a 15 by 15 manual. I think back in the day, my first press, my first heat press, I paid like $75 for it on Craigslist back in uh, 2010. So, yeah, y'all got to start with what you can get. All right, let's see the second side. Lovely, no doubt about it. No doubt about it. Look at the darkness. Look at the vibrancy. Whew. Mike would be proud. Mike would say, Donish, Danny, Silky Socks, y'all socks are dope. All right, so let me give him a second to cool. And I'll go ahead and unload those guys. Again, nice and slow. If you unload them too quick, the width and the texture of the finish actually is not as nice it kind of retracts a little bit. So you want to just kind of give it a silky smooth unload. Dang. Dang. I don't know which one I like better. I think I like this one. Let's go try these guys on. You ready? All right guys, here we are at the park, ready to try these things on. Let's start with these streetwear ones. Got my Jordan 11s to go with the socks. So, here we go. Again, sorry you gotta see my feet, but it's part of the sock demo. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hoopers are here. Show them what's up with these socks after I, after I try these on. There it is, there's the fit. Nice, kind of snug fit, not too loose as you can see. This is the size large, 8 to 12, and I'm a size 10 shoe size. Bring my, bring my lows. Ooh, there it is. Should I go ball these guys up? No, no, no. I'm gonna stick with the demo. I'm gonna stick with the demo. <laughs> Bam. Yo, that is fire. Alright, next. It's kinda loud here because the game's going on. But I'm gonna try on the athletic ones. Ready? So you can see the black cotton underbase right here. Ankle length. This one does fit a little tighter. I want it's uh, listed as 8 to 12 but it is kind of a little shorter on me. So um, if you're on the fence, I'd go one size bigger. And uh, we do have a size XL in these coming soon. All right, there's the shot on foot with the shoes on. Take the shoes off real quick. Let's 
center him up a little bit. Damn. And these are also referred to as quarter length because they go like one quarter up the leg, I believe. Michael Jordan was, it was a killer. It didn't matter. He wanted to come in and kill you. What motivates me is the unknown. No one knows. You know, they can all speculate, but no one really knows. And myself, I didn't know. But that, I didn't let that stop me. You know, and I, I let that motivate me more so than anything. That, you know, as long as it's unknown, that means I have a chance. You know, and that's the way I, pers I pursued my whole career. No matter what the game is, or who you're playing against, you have to want the ball, the clock, the pressure. You block all that out. All you think about is what you have to do to win. That's why I love the end of the game, because it comes down to that one moment when it's all in my hand. That about completes the demo, guys. Be sure to subscribe, like, comment, let me know what you think, and we'll see you on the next demo, all right? Bless your feet. Thank you. Mike, check one, two, one, two. MJ Socks coming your way soon. All right, what am I doing? <laughs> that about completes the demo, guys. Please don't mess up my settings, Leah. Don't mess up my settings, please. No. Damn it. Okay, take that one and go. <laughs>